Ending the silence, speaking out against rape jokes. In today's interconnected world, social media platforms and group chats, GCs, have become a common space for people to share jokes, stories, and experiences. While humor can be a powerful tool to bring people together, it's crucial to recognize the impact of our words. Recently, a troubling incident occurred within our GC, a rape joke was made. Such jokes are not only offensive but deeply hurtful to survivors of sexual assault, and it's time we addressed this issue head-on. Understanding the Impact Rape is a heinous crime that affects millions of people worldwide, both women and men. Survivors often suffer in silence due to fear, shame, and stigma. When rape jokes are shared casually, they perpetuate a culture that trivializes sexual assault and undermines the pain and trauma experienced by survivors. These jokes not only hurt survivors but can also discourage them from speaking out and seeking help. The Power of Words Words hold immense power. They can heal, inspire, and unite, but they can also harm, divide, and alienate. Rape jokes fall into the latter category. They normalize a culture of insensitivity and can perpetuate harmful stereotypes and attitudes towards survivors. It is our responsibility as individuals and as a community to recognize the harm these jokes can cause and take steps to combat them. Raising Awareness Understanding consent, one of the essential aspects of preventing rape jokes is education. We must ensure that everyone understands the concept of consent and respects it. Consent is the cornerstone of healthy relationships, and jokes that undermine it have no place in our conversations. Support for survivors, we should create a safe space within our GC and in our lives where survivors can openly share their experiences if they choose to. It's important to listen without judgment and offer support and resources to those who need them. Challenging offensive remarks, if you encounter a rape joke or any offensive remark, don't stay silent. Politely but firmly challenge the comment and explain why it is hurtful. Encourage others to do the same. Promote empathy, share stories and articles about survivors' experiences to foster empathy within the group. Understanding the pain and suffering that survivors endure can help change attitudes towards rape jokes. Educate on the impact, make sure everyone in the group understands the emotional and psychological impact of sexual assault on survivors. Sometimes, people make such jokes without realizing the pain they cause. Set boundaries, establish clear guidelines within the GC regarding acceptable content and language. Make it known that rape jokes are not tolerated. Conclusion Our words and actions have consequences. By promoting awareness and taking a stand against rape jokes, we can contribute to a culture of empathy, respect, and support for survivors of sexual assault. Let's use our GC as a platform for positive change and solidarity. Together, we can create a more inclusive and compassionate online community.